This is Matt from Investiquant. Today is Thursday, September 22, 2022. Yesterday was the FOMC announcement and the markets were weak. We uh, closed down at the lows of the session, down at the lows of the week as well with a pretty ugly day. And we'll be looking at what has happened historically following a weak day on FOMC announcement. So let me go ahead and get this set up. We're going to grab all four instruments. Our setup will be based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now, as I record this, we're trading right around yesterday's close. So I'm going to skip over the opening filter. I'll let you guys do that on your own. And I'm going to go straight down to price patterns. And I'm going to describe yesterday's action by saying it closed at least 1% lower. I'm going to grab that from active today here, close greater than 1% lower. Next thing I'm going to do is go to market events and I'm going to go to active today. I'm going to say it's the day after the FOMC announcement. That's right here. It comes from our day after market events category. And then I'm going to click view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time when the prior day was FOMC announcement day and the market closed weak. And I've defined that as closing at least 1% lower. Historically, 15 samples here in the S&P, 15 in the NASDAQ, 19 in the Dow, 28 in the Russell. If we look at the win rates on them, all of them skewed a little bit towards the downside. And they are on a small sample size, especially here for uh, S&P and NASDAQ. S&P coming in, 40% of these have closed above the opening print following that. For the NASDAQ, it's 47%. Dow, 37%. Russell, the weakest of the group with the largest sample size at 29%. If we look at the average moves, very similar in size here for the S&P. Uh, NASDAQ, a little bit larger average win. The Dow, a little bit larger average loss. And the Russell, a larger loss as well. So it uh, looks like we're a little bit mixed on the average moves. The win rates are a little bit skewed towards the downside on all of them with the Russell being the weakest of the group with the weakest win rate and the larger moves to the downside. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We will see you next time.